Today I'm going to be showing you all how to sideload iOS, which basically means to run two operating systems on one device, on any iOS 32-bit device. And this currently does not work on any 64-bit devices, and the 32-bit devices include all the devices up to the iPhone 5, the iPad 4, and the iPod Touch 5G. Those are the highest iOS devices in those categories that this supports. Anything above that right now is most likely 64-bit and does not support this tweak here. And in this video, I'm going to be using an iPhone 5, which is a 32-bit device, and it's running iOS 10.3.4. And this device here does support and run Cool Booter very well, which is this week we'll be using today. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure your device is on the latest OS that it supports, which for me is iOS 10.3.4. And then you're going to want to go ahead and jailbreak it, which I did a video on like a few months ago. And I'll have that link down below. But once your device is jailbroken, all you need to do is open up Cydia, head over to the sources, go to edit, tap add, and then you're gonna to wanna to type in this right here. And this will be our repo here. So it's https coolbooter.com. And once you've typed that in there, just type on add source. Then click on return to Cydia. Now go over to your sources list, which you should already be on. Go to the cool booter repo system. And what we want to click on now is we want to click on the first one, which is just cool booter. And once you're on this page here, you'll notice that it says cool booter is an all in one dual booting utility for jailbroken 32 bit iOS devices. And like I said earlier, this is only for 32 bit devices. So if you meet that, you're good. But all you need to do is click on modify, install, confirm, return to Cydia once again. Now go to your home screen and now you'll see that Coolbooter has been installed and it should look something like this. Open that up. Now click on install. And now what's really cool is you can select which version of iOS you want to dual boot. And it looks like if you're on iOS 10.3.4, you have all the way from iOS 6 all the way up to iOS 10.3.3. So basically, it allows you to run any iOS that your, your device like came with, basically. I'm going to go ahead and install iOS 6, but if you guys want to do a different one, it's basically the same process. And once you have that selected, just click on I'm ready. And now it's going to ask if you want a custom boot logo. I think this is pretty cool, so I'm going to click yes, but that's up to you guys. Once you have one selected, click on exit. And Verbase Boot basically like shows all the different commands being executed while the installer is going. And I recommend keeping this on so you can check for errors if any come up at all. But if you just want a basic loading bar, then just click on no. But I'm going to do this just for the errors, and I want to make sure that everything's going well. Now it's going to go ahead and download your iOS version that you want to dual boot from Apple, and this will take a moment or two. And with the magic of editing, our download is now complete, and it's going to go ahead and verify the file that was just downloaded. It'll extract the firmware. Now it's going to begin to flash the system, and you'll now see a pop-up saying your storage is almost full. This is only because your phone's confused about the partition, because normally iPhones aren't partitioned for other iOSs. But you do have plenty of storage left. Um, the way Coolbooter works is basically it formats your device in half, so it'll give half of your storage to the partition for the uh, other iOS, and it'll keep the other half for your main iOS. Say your device is 8 gigabytes, you'll have 4 gigabytes for your main iOS, and then you'll have 4 for the side loaded. So you'll still have 4 available in my case. So you, your storage is technically not full, so you don't need to worry about this, so you can just click done. And it looks like it's been successful, so now all we need to do is go ahead and reboot the device. And once the device is done rebooting, all we need to do is open Coolbooter back up. Oh, and it looks like the device is done rebooting. And I'm assuming that you guys did my jailbreak, which is only semi-untethered, meaning that once your device is rebooted, then the jailbreak is removed. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to relaunch Helix and then we'll need to click on kickstart. 
and then our device will spring into jailbreak mode and then we'll be able to open up Cool Booter. And let's try opening up Cool Booter now. All right, now that we're back in here for the second time, let's go ahead and boot. Now it's telling me to lock my device. And since this button up here doesn't work for me, I just turned on assistive touch and this will allow me to lock my screen. And now the side loading boot process will begin. Yep, and here's verbose mode, which shows like all the commands that are going down. This is like what happens behind like the loading bar when you like start your phone up, which is pretty cool. And now we should be booting into our side loaded iOS version. And yeah, this is what I meant by the loading bar. Like all that code you just saw is actually what's happening behind this loading bar, but the loading bar is like a much cleaner look. So that's why they do this. And as you can see, that's the iOS 6 Apple right there. And here we are, now we are in iOS 6, and I am currently sideloading iOS 10.3.4 with iOS 6, which is crazy. And here's the iconic startup screen. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up real quick. And as you can see, Wi-Fi is working. This is basically just regular iOS 6 running on your device. Crazy to think that this was the version of iOS that came with this phone originally. Set up his new phone. Um, skip this step. Yes. Agree. Don't use Siri. Don't send. And here we go. Start using your iPhone. And man, this is so much snappier than iOS 10.3.4. Apple really slows down their operating systems on older phones over time. And here are all the old apps here. You can see iTunes in the App Store, and then Settings app. Look how old all this looks. Here's the App Switcher. And to get back to the original iOS version that you were just on before you dual booted into this one, all you need to do is restart your phone. And now it's booting back into iOS 10.3.4, which like I said a moment ago, is my uh, default operating system for this device. And yeah, you can see how much more laggy this version is. Gotta love Apple. And yeah, it's really that simple. All you need to do is jailbreak your phone, install Cydia, install Coolbooter from the coolbooter.com repo, open up Coolbooter, um, install the iOS version you want, simply boot into it, and then you just restart your phone to come back. And it's that simple. Now, if you guys had any troubles at all, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you all again soon.